This morning I'm joined by TJ Jorgensen from Street Kids Suburban Softball. He's here to talk about the organization and all the incredible things they do. Good morning, TJ. Good morning, Thanks Lana. so much for joining us. Thank you. First of all, tell us a little bit about Street Kids and, and what you guys do. Well, actually, we're started out just a men's softball team. We play you know, in league ball in the area as well as competitive tournaments. And what we decided to do uh, a couple years ago was start getting involved in the community. So we started an organization called Street Kids Care. And I know you recently had an event with children from Memorial Hospital. Tell us a little yeah, bit about that. That was really exciting. We did something where we took uh, a lot of the children from the, the uh, pediatric oncology uh, ward at the Memorial Hospital, brought them out to the field on our opening night here back in the spring, and had them on the field warming up with us and playing catch and hitting. And uh, we treated them to some food and snacks, and it was just a great time. They were hugging our players, and our players went away with an unbelievable feeling himself. And I talked to a lot of the kids afterwards. We stopped by and visited them at the hospital, and they just had a great time. And it was. It was definitely a moving event for us. It's great to get your kids involved in any activity, sports being one of them, right. softball being one of them, but what do you think it does for these children to take it to another level? That they're not just learning about camaraderie and sportsmanship, but sure. they're learning about something else in this organization right. too, aren't they? Well, our organization is not just playing softball. You know, we branched into youth football and, and we're getting to several different things and we're not just focusing on children, but we're doing a lot of different things. And when we go see these children at the hospital and we talk to them and we're trying to let them know that there's people out there that care more than, you know, we're athletes, and, but we all go to work every day. We have our families and our children. But we want to be able to do something to try to bring more awareness to uh, what's going on with them and well, try to bring some life to them. TJ, what kind of reaction did you get from the kids oh I think the greatest thing was when they came up and hugged us you know that was was unexpected I mean you, you can see the videos on our website but just the amazing way that these kids came up and just hugged the hands of the players and they're like wow this is unbelievable I mean I got emails from all the players afterwards saying this is this unbelievable feeling thank you for letting me be a part of this and no thank you for being part of this I mean going back into the hospital visiting with the kids and sitting there in the bed and talking with them uh, it just it just brought a smile to their face and I'm just glad we were able to do that you won't ever forget that, will you? No, not at all. You know, we, we have so many goals and so many things we want to do. And again, we're just a normal, a normal people, you know, a normal team that just wants to make a difference. How can one get involved? Well, starters, you can go to our website, streetkidscare.com, and see kind of what we do. Uh, there's ways you can make donations, and there's also ways that you can do it yourself. You don't necessarily have to uh, be part of our organization to make a difference. You can do something on your own. Thank you so much for joining Thank us you. today. Some it. really inspiring words. Thank Thanks you. very much, DJ. Well, there's more to come on this edition of New Center 16 Sunday morning. Today's top stories and the latest weather forecast are just ahead. We'll be back after this short break.